the ancestors of the original Israelites in this part of West Africa, from Volta region, Togo, Benin to Yoruba land, knew that as the original story of the Moche narratives passed on from generation to generations, there was going to be some kind of discrepancies creeping into the story. And at the long run, the full or the original story itself will be lost to the people. So what did they do? They decided to code some of the information in order to preserve it. My name is Kofi Adalete. The original Monte story itself does not have the particular story of the pattern of water, which actually is very important because it actually led to the people of Israel to escape from their enemies. So it is very vital that that aspect is in the story. But a closer look at the story itself, you will not see it. But it is there. If you look at the story, particularly, you will see it there. It is hidden, but it has been there all along. Unfortunately for these millions of Israelites in these parts of West Africa, they don't know it. No matter how they look at it, they cannot see the pattern of the water. But I can tell you that it is all there, all along. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, the ancestors decide to code some of the stories in order to preserve them. And these coded messages can be found in even the names of the people or the name of the places which they are dwelling at now. For instance, let's take a name like Negadu. The name Negadu means that coconut has fallen in a community or a village. And is coconut. G means a drop of falling, and do means community or a village. Now, in a village where there is no electronic media or any form of entertainment, sometimes the village becomes very quiet and people become bored and children just sit around, lazing around. But a sudden drop of a coconut will certainly cause a big bang thereby attracting these children to rush to go and find this fleshy fruit to eat. And by so doing, their shouts whilst running and crying out will definitely arouse the attention of the elders in a community or in a village. And thereby they will definitely like to come out to come and see what is going on. So what does this scenario mean? It means that something very important has happened. And the deep meaning of this name, Negedu, means that a prince has been born. And we all know that when a prince is born in a village, everyone becomes very jealous and to celebrate. There are more of these coded informations in the Moche narratives. And the only way you can be able to decode them and also to understand what it means in relation to the whole Ngoche narrative, you better have to get this book. I recommend this book by Efo Maoli Maovi Obanya. Novinyo Agamasu Agamasu Minamiachu what I said is, my brethren, the time has come. Let us get up and move forward. I thank you. Get Venya by Efo Maoli Maovi and get all the codes that you want to know about. Thank you for now.